Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you are not new and you've been tuning in for however long, thank you for all of your support on this platform. If you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Diani Neves. I'm a Christian blogger, influencer, mentor, and mouthpiece for the Lord, which means that I come on my platform and I share all of the messages he gives me for you. God has me in a spirit of immense love today. Like I didn't plan to do very much today. I've actually just been relaxing. I had planned to get some work done for the brand and work on some projects he has kind of queued up. I also have a lot of prophetic words I need to release. This is one of them. And he put it on my heart to go ahead and record a couple of words he's given me regarding prodigals. Those of you who are trusting him for the return of someone from your past as it pertains to kingdom marriage, okay? So this is gonna be a very beautiful and encouraging word. He gave this to me in July, July 22nd at about 12.40 in the afternoon. I always make note of the date that he gives me the messages and the time because um, I'm sure that the time is significant to some of you out there, so every detail counts. All right, so I'm just gonna read what God told me. Oh, before I forget, um, this message is inspired by a dream that God gave me. And I don't believe I actually took the time to write down the dream, um, but I do remember what happened. At the time I got this dream, I was actually on a much needed vacation with my family, just some time away and just a break. I really needed a break. And um, anyway, so my little brother in this dream had apparently like gone to the bathroom and he like, he used the bathroom. He, he peed and he left like a mess around the toilet seat and in the dream I was like really disgusted and like kind of bothered like why didn't you clean up after yourself and I low-key feel a little bit bad like I feel like I'm throwing him under the bus or something but this wasn't real okay he's not too bad for a little boy um so I'll give him that but um in the dream he was like kind of i could tell that he felt bad i could tell he felt bad about the mess that he left and although i was irritated with him at the time i still took it upon myself in the dream to go into the bathroom and like show him how to clean up after himself like when you when you make a mess like this is how you clean up after yourself so that the next person who comes in the bathroom doesn't have to deal with your surprise okay and um I know it sounds kind of nasty, but we're all we're all humans here. And so um, he said specifically, I remember so clearly in the dream, he was like, we were having a conversation and he was like, I just need help sometimes. And um, as I heard that in the dream, I actually heard we at the same time. So it was like, I just need help sometimes and we just need help sometimes. And he looked sad, like he looked disappointed in himself and he looked embarrassed, honestly. Like he looked like, like I know, like I gotta do better, <laughs> you know? And um, when I woke up, that's when God gave me this message about prodigals. And he's emphasizing that this is specifically for his sons who are prodigals. So this is for the daughters who are waiting on their God-ordained spouses to return from whatever length of separation that you've been um, enduring. But um, it's also for his daughters who are prodigals. But he's really highlighting like the men right now. But you can also, sons who are in waiting, take this um, and apply it to your situation. God also wants me to um, to address that this is for prodigals mainly, but it can be applied to those of you who are trusting him for kingdom marriage, um, a marriage ordained by him, ordained and put together by him as well. So your job is to take this word back to him for confirmation and for further insight and revelation regarding your own personal situation, okay? So I slash we just need help sometimes. Sometimes you helping your partner will look like you cleaning up a mess that they made. Don't throw their mistakes or poor decisions back in their face because this won't result in a win, quote unquote, for the both of you. It will only result in them growing resentment towards you, which the enemy will use to his advantage to cause a wedge in your union. This is unconditional love. And it isn't always pretty. It isn't always soft gazes at your partner and warm, fuzzy feelings. It's messy. It's hard. It's work. 
Anything worth keeping will require you to work at and maintain it in partnership with God. Your love, this is specifically like all of this is from God, but this is like the part where it kind of dives into um, like a personal letter for those of you that this is for. Your love for your partner should reflect the love I have for you. In that, when you're feeling broken, hopeless, and unsure of what to do, I reach down and comfort you, taking the weight of your circumstance upon my own two shoulders. I share the burden on your heart, and I wipe every tear as I remind and encourage you that we're in this together. I am that I am, and you cannot replace me in your partner's life, but you can reflect me. I know you're scared of the unknown, beloved, but so is the person I have chosen for you. They too are afraid of giving pieces of themselves that were once taken for granted, ripped from their chest and thrown against the wall. They too have locked the most vulnerable parts of themselves away in hopes that maybe someday the right someone can come and unlock what they so desperately desire to set free. That right someone is you, beloved. I have given you the key to your spouse's heart. I want you to play a role in the love story I have written for my glory. Yes, it is beautiful, but it will not be completely painless. My son's sacrifice is the greatest love story of all, Jesus Christ. And yet my heart shattered with each step he took in his journey that led him to the cross, knowing the fate that lay ahead. You will get through this. With my strength, nothing shall be impossible for you. Your partner isn't completely aware of what's going on, but I have given them the grace to follow the leading of my Holy Spirit, what they believe to be the leading of their heart. They love you, and their love for you trumps any fear, doubt, and confusion sent from the enemy. If ever you find yourself at a loss in this partnership, remember that I have not left you. Always do your best to be gentle, compassionate, forgiving, empathetic, quick to listen, and slow to speak, slow to anger. Remember that it is you and this person against the world, but Satan will do everything he can to put you against each other. Don't let him. You fight for this blessing. Put on your armor and stand on this promise, even as you are watching it come to pass. Your greatest weapon is your faith. Your faith makes way for prayer, and your prayers move mountains. I am so proud of you. Get ready for the things in store, because I'm about to blow your mind. Love, Abba. Oh, I completely forgot he gave me this word, and last night, um, as I was just spending time in his presence, I was really supposed to go to bed, but I ended up talking to him for like two hours. Like that, that happens pretty often. Um, I was just spending time with him and I got like this, I don't even know. I just went into my notes for some reason, started scrolling and, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I was looking for quotes that God gives me and draws my attention to, to make content for Instagram, just like encouraging motivational content, faith-based of course. And, um, I, I was like looking for something to make content for because I had reactivated my Instagram after about a week or so. I came across this word amongst a few others that I completely forgot he had given me. So he was putting it on my heart, like, like go ahead and prepare yourself to release these because now it's time. So um, it was so beautiful. I read these and I was like, wow, God, like I still, it blows my mind whenever he gives me anything to release to all of you because I just, his, his, he just the way his mind works is so beautiful and he's he's so intricate with details and he's so considerate and just I just love him I love him so much so take this word back to God he's got more that he wants to reveal to you this is meant to be encouragement and confirmation um and be excited for the things that God has in store for you, okay? Um, regardless of how you're feeling right now, if you're feeling weary, if you're feeling like giving up, that's exactly what the enemy wants you to do. You're not meant to have it all together every single day, every single 
you know, step you take in this journey of trusting God for the marriage he has for you with the person he has for you. No promise is, is meant to come easy. You know what I mean? Like, if you've received a promise, you need to expect opposition from the enemy. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who's been sewing into the ministry. Thank you for all of the sweet emails that you guys are sending. I have definitely been getting some raunchy emails, not raunchy, like nasty, but like just mean, just downright nasty. And just like, it's so clear that the enemy is working through some people, but I literally, God is like, we laugh it off together. Honestly, like I've not once taken an email to heart and been so sad and so upset about it because I know who I serve. You know what I mean? Like I brush that off like, okay, because I got God and I got the Holy Spirit and um, I've come too far to allow the opinions of other people and the attacks from the enemy through other people to affect how I view myself, to affect how I view the world and what God is doing in the lives of his children. And I encourage you to take up that, that posture. I know it's not easy, but it is a muscle that you have to train. Confidence in God especially is a muscle that you have to train. I know I kind of went off on a bit of a tangent there. Um, remember that I love you guys. God loves you so much more. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.